In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to bypass Bifront on the Microsoft Store version of Roblox and exploit and execute scripts. It also has a game hub built into it, so it's a lot easier to use. This method also bypasses Bifront for the website version of Roblox. For that, there is a tutorial linked in the description. So yeah, let's head right so into it. So the only thing that you're gonna need to have is gonna be this file right here. It's called Netflix CE Web Bypass. The link will be in the description for that it's really easy to download but if you cannot get it yourself just head to my discord server the link will be in the description for that and there is a tutorial on how to get it so the first thing that you need to do is going to be to right click on it and then extract here we'll get two files readme and netflix ce Credit is going to impost and jotu so first i'm going to show you two methods on how to exploit for every game except blade ball for some reason the first method doesn't work for blade ball the game but in the second method i'm gonna show you how to exploit and execute scripts in blade ball if you want to exploit in blade ball make sure to watch the first method as well since in the first method i explain everything in detail and then in the second method i just show you what to change so the first thing that you need to do is going to be to open this right here this is for the first method then if you scroll down you will see right here netflix x86 or the netflix process handler I recommend you open the process handler right here because this makes it more stable and it has a lot less crashes but if the process handler doesn't work for you just try this one right here it's the same thing so i'm gonna open the netflix process handler and if you can see we got this right here now the next step is to open roblox from the microsoft store so right now we are opening roblox from the microsoft store so the first thing that you need to do is going to be to join this base plate right here it has to be this so if you want to find it on the microsoft store version because it's a lot harder to find games through a link you're just gonna search right here this name exactly this so name. after you've typed it in just press enter and then go to people and then you will see right here jotun this is the owner of the exploit so i'm just gonna press on that and then if i go to view full profile creations press on this tab right here you'll see right here base plate is gonna be this one right here so i'm just gonna open that and if you can see we are here and now we have to join this Make sure the Wheat engine is opened before you open Roblox and now here you're gonna select the game that you wanna teleport to and here you can place the ID of the game so let's say you wanna go to Bloxfruits it's gonna be this ID but if you wanna go into a game that's not displayed here you just need to go to Google and open a Roblox version of Google and then select a game I'm gonna do Bloxfruits and then in the URL right here, you will see the ID for Bloxfruits is going to be this one right here in the URL. It's for all the games is going to be right here. You're just going to copy it and then you're going to put it right here if you can see and then you're going to press on join game. After that, it will join the game. You can see right now we are in Bloxfruits and now the next thing that you need to do is going to go to right here and then you're going to press on this icon right here. Then you will need to go to processes and make sure you're going to processes, not Windows processes right here. And then you're going to search for Windows 10 Universal EXE. Uh, most of the time it's going to be down below. So if you just scroll down all the way on the processes tab right here, Windows 10 Universal.exe is going to be this right here. You're just going to press on open after you've selected it, then this will open. Now the next thing that you need to do is going to, is going to be to press on inject right here. Then you will just need to wait a couple of seconds. If you can see now it's saying inject scripts. This means it's been successfully attached. And if you can also see got tool combat. So this only works if the game that you are trying to join has a tool just like here combat. Otherwise it won't work and it's going to give an error. So make sure you have a tool and the tool is actually usable. So you can actually use it. So right now if I uh, press on combat. If you can see this GUI popped up, this is going to be the script executor. So let me play a bit with it. If you can see right here, we have a Bloxfruits ESP, a Sword Kill All, Tower of Hell GUI, a Fly script, Universal Aimbot. And in the script hub right here, we have some other stuff such as Dex Explorer, Infinite Yield, Prison Life, Blade Ball, Auto Parry, and CMDY. So let's test the Fly script real quick. So I'm going to press on Execute. If you can see, it actually works. So if you just wait a couple of seconds, it's going to show the GUI right here and we can actually fly in Bloxroots. Normally no GUIs actually work, 
but if you can see right now we are flying in uh, blocks fruits which is really cool there is also gonna be infinite yield if you want to do that i'm just gonna do execute and if you can see it has been opened in here you have a lot of admin commands let's say i want to do no clip no clip right here i'm gonna press on it and then enter and now we have no clip so now we can go through stuff if you can see but this executor isn't really that powerful it's just a level two executor it can execute basic uh stuff such uh like a fly gy infinite yield like a blocks fruits uh fruit ES esp so let me try to execute that and see if there are any fruits if you can see there aren't any fruits at the moment on the map also in my discord server there is a channel where people can share scripts that work for uh this if right you can see here. here is like a blocks fruits esp this is a new one there is an aimbot aimbot and the esp a fly script an auto parry for uh blade ball another auto parry you can play around with this it's still something that we can use now i'm gonna show you how to make it work for blade ball first thing that you need to do is gonna be to open this folder right here after that if you go to the root folder just here you will see right here roblox bb just search for that and then just put it on top of your desktop if you can see we have it right here and then if you go to the auto run just like that and then if you search for roblox it's gonna be the only one that's gonna be here roblox you're just gonna put that on your desktop as well and then replace it with the roblox bb so put the roblox bb inside the auto run and then this normal roblox inside the uh, root folder so this makes it work for blade ball so let me show it to you guys so open a uh, netflix process handler or the normal netflix is the if this doesn't work for you then open roblox now we have to join the base plate select blade ball right here and then join game so after you're in blade ball if you can see the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have the dash ability equipped it will not work if you don't have the dash equi ability equipped now if you press on this icon right here and then if you go to processes make sure you're going to processes not windows application processes then now you need to search for windows 10 universal.exe hit on open this will pop up and then press on inject then you just need to wait if you can see inject script so now it fully works but now you have to wait until a new game starts for the synapse gy to pop up so you can actually execute scripts so you just have to wait so if you can see the game started and now we have this so let me real quick uh, execute my auto parry blade ball if you can see it has been executed and now it will auto parry for me but let's also execute the fly script right here execute so we can fly around so we will uh, if you can see bomb at auto parried which is really op if you can see it actually works so now let me do fly so now i can go like really high or, or uh, whatever and now the ball will be really far away from me and um, and it will be impossible for it to get to me i also have an auto parry from my discord server someone from the server posted it it's saying that it's a lot better so let me try to execute it execute so now i guess i have two auto parries working for me if you can see script ran without errors so it actually works now it's coming for me and then boom if you can see this is like super OP. Some of them has to die. Oh, it just came for us. And we killed someone. And now it's going to come for us again. And then if you can see. Boom. Easy. Easy. So it will just play for so us. So guys, this was the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.